Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And you know one good thing Rockstar did is they did not make it so you can't buy the classic Tornado. You can still get get this over here. Go to Benny's. Look at their stock. Scroll it on down. Where is it? I scrolled past it. There it is. 30k, the Tornado. You can grab them off the street, too. And I'm thinking, being down basically five parking spaces, six would be better. I have a, I have actually seven on this character if you count the, the empty one I want to keep at the agency. Can you sell from here? I have to take it out. What she need then? Anything Sometimes you can't sell Anything at all? to yourself. Yeah, you can't sell. Okay, so exit the ground. I'm always here. Won't be a lot of money. But it's a space. And I already have a black custom. Looks very much like this, actually. I have a black custom Tornado that runs a little bit better. Actually, let's go. Where's the best place to get rid of this puppy? Not a lot of speed. There's no mods to it. It's the evening, pardon my yawn. I did not expect a yawn. Is that just the effect of driving a black tornado with no mods? Is you start to yawn, start to fade out on the evening. Don't get me wrong, the turn this this car is really a good looking car. But again, I have a custom one. Same wheels basically. The the wheel size is a little bit better on the non the non uh, low rider one because they make them a little bit a little bit smaller. Just to do the low rider thing, you know? So I don't mind having this, but I also don't see a need. I mean I, I know I've got a uh, mariachi, a mariachi tornado before. someplace. And it's it's useful for nothing. It's only worth three grand. <laughs> if that was purchased, I probably lost twenty-seven k on that. But we can we can live with that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna call in a Eudora. If it's the one that's not modified, we're gonna bring it right here and modify it. If it isn't the one that's modified, then we're gonna drive it back and. Go back to the, the, the shop and modify it there. So we're just going to see what happens. Some Los Santos Customs. Money on the line here. You're through to your garage. You uh, need me to bring you a ride? Which one do I think it'll be? Oh, let's just take the it's top on the way. one. Figure it's going left to right. If it comes up green and, and black. No, nope. There's my Buick one. All right. So it goes right to left. One that's based in kind of an homage to my old Buick. What we're gonna build is a different homage. Something actually a little bit more related. This is this car here is supposed to be, I think, based on an original. And one of the cars I had growing up was an '81 Oldsmobile Delta 88, and it was special. Let me tell you why. Uh, we got from my aunt B. Was still around by the way, she's 94. But at the time, she was she was getting a new car, and this car had been fixed up. It was originally a diesel. And then I think the you know, something went in the motor. And so my uncle Butch got arrested. Her son, we don't have Uncle Butch, we have her unfortunately bicycle accident. But we can pull this back in, right? Yeah, We lost Uncle Butch way too early, but he had, as a mechanic, pulled the diesel engine out of this Oldsmobile before we ever got it. And he'd had a motor that he'd got that he was going to put in. He had um, one of those Cadillacs with the, kind of the slant back on it. This is a lot of years ago. He was going to drop this motor in there, but it wouldn't fit. It was a 455. 
455 cubic inch engine. And he put it in this Delta 88. And didn't change the trans or the gearing. So you got something that's set up for a really low revving motor. Now you got one that revs a lot higher. Wait, I don't need to pull this out. What am I, what am I thinking? I'm talking, telling a story. And, you know, it's just got gobs more power. This thing would just spit in the tires. The speedometer was never really recalibrated. So you'd be, if you said you were doing 30 miles an hour, you were doing 70. I mean, it was, a, it was some ridiculous shift. And, I mean, the uh, beep, come on, beep, beep. Why isn't it letting me modify it? Pull it in again. To give you an idea, uh, the day my grandfather passed on my mom's side, God rest him too. Not a day goes by on this pop. But the um, my dad was working up in uh, Carbondale that day at the Carbondale office. He's a he's a sonographer, cardiovascular sonographer, and. It's a pretty good trek from from home to. I don't want I don't want to, you know, dox myself too much here. But it's a pretty good trek. Normally it would take you, oh, a good 15 minutes, 15 20 minutes to get from Carbonella home. He did it in seven because my mom called and said, "Look, you have to come home. I think I think Dad's passing away." This thing, I said, what did it read? He said it, it, was, it was on 60 or 70. I mean, this thing had you doing 140 miles an hour. Now, it had no handling whatsoever. It was not a handling car. It was this huge, floaty, comfy, big maroon thing. And that's what we have here, is that we're going to make this a nice big maroon thing. Do we want to chrome this up? I think we do. That one didn't have arch coverage, but we're, we're just doing an homage. We're not full power armor upgrade. Do everything. How do we want to make this look? I think we're going to square it up a little bit. Chrome it up a little bit this way. And it did have chrome. Do you need a drink? Bubbles? Not giving it the vampire look. It's going to be nice and squared up. I think I'll keep the. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with the double, the double cool. Got some machine under Not the that it had that, but again, we're just going to do up a cool car here. Don't make me think of. Let's see, primary vertical grill. Da, 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 da. I'm going to go with the aggressor on this one. Stock versus aggressor. That, I think we'll go with the stock. It wasn't. That, that's, that's a bit aggressive. This is a, a mellow car. We're not even putting a hood rack on it. I think, yeah, primary chrome ribbed hood. That's the way to go. I'll go, go classy here. Horn will leave alone. Lights. Headlights will leave alone. Neon kit. Probably going to stay that color. Livery. I don't think we're doing a livery. Like you could get, do something basic. We'll come back to livery. Mirrors. Chrome squared mirrors. We want to square it up. There's a little homage to the squareness of that car. That was a very square car. There it is. Late. Let's see, do we have anything that would be really fitting here? Yeah, let's give it the black knight. With the with the, uh, with the yellow on blue. Respray primary color. We need something in a maroony kind of red. Sadly, there is no red called maroon. We have to kind of fashion which one would be 
Lava red, blaze red. Grace red, you're getting close. Garnet red, sunset red is a little too orange. It's getting the right in the dark. Cabernet red, that might be. Is that a little too dark? No, maybe it's not a little too dark if we give it the right pearlescent. That's going to be the trick. If we could go... Wine red is definitely too dark. But Cabernet red... Looks almost as good as you. And we popped a pearlescent. No, we don't want a black pearlescent. But we want it in the red. So it's not real noticeable. And blaze red. Formula red over the top, maybe. Just to brighten it up. Or just plain red, maybe. Life is hard when you can have anything. <coughs> Let's do grace red. I Your think that might be the right secondary. Metallic black. We're not going there. We're not. We're going to match it up. I was going to do something like do a metal. It's like one thing I was thinking of doing. It was going brushed aluminum. Aluminum. Brushed aluminium, brushed aluminum, or brushed black steel on the side. Because it did have some of those kind of, but not to this extent. Technology and budget That's it's good looking. But what we can do instead, because I know the modifications on this car are so well at this point. Um, back up to the reds. Went the wrong way, I know. Uh, hold on a second. All right, that will be another quick edit here, probably. What did we settle on? Cabernet red. So it's, yeah, that matches. Don't she look pretty? Trim color. Oh, you gotta match. It, it did have a, a like a Cabernet red interior too. That 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 all matched up. It was red on red on red. Girl is looking good. I'm leaving the wheels just for because I don't actually remember what I think it, what, the, what the wheels were like. But let's stick it. The same here. Secondary roof doesn't gonna matter there. It's not roof accessories, none. And we can put the chrome roof rack on just to give it a little more chrome. And that would give it the handling boost it needs. This car didn't have that, but like hey, we're not obviously it's not even close as far as the way it originally looks, and this would at least add some more chrome. We could surfboard it. But no. Or do I really want to just have it be done? Just purely an aerodynamic. Yeah, we will take away the alley. We might come back to it. We're not talking big money here, so we'll just. Sunshades. Class, it's going to be the same color. I think that works. I think that'll work. No rush at all. She is Just a nice. little bit of the sunshade suspension. Eh. Yeah, I know this is probably affects performance as well. We're leaving the suspension. This is a cruiser. I mean, we're not gonna. We're not gonna. You know. Chrome lower point. Chrome tree plate. See, there's where you could get chrome trim plate. Where you just, that's where you get the silver, silveriness on the car. And now I'm looking at it thinking, boy, wouldn't it, maybe the chrome on the top would be nice. Just chrome. Just pure chrome. No luggage, just a rack there. Just to balance everything off. So much chrome. <laughs> Maximum chrome. Uh, let's see. That's the trim is done. Turbo. Yeah, we'll turbo it up. 
So this is raceable now that we've got the rag on it. Wheels, we just need them to be bulletproof. They're bulletproof. Windows, we'll give them the light smoke treatment. Exit to ground. Now this car's already gone up chilly. We don't need to do this again. It'll be a little bit shorter. Not every car needs to go up chilly, especially since we've already taken the Cedar up. I think we took the uh, we took the crazy taxi up. From there, but we didn't leave. I'll put a link in the description if I can find that video. But I know we've already done it. But this is just something I wanted to have. We'll park it with the other Eudoras. Oh, Pankro was on. Okay. I just came on just to do these last couple of cars. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pull one more in because... Got a clean top on the Buick homage, but this... That one's, you know, been dechromed a bit. This one is all chromed. Chromed and happy. So what should we park next to this? This homage to that big old, big old Oldsmobile. And he's back! And they call him Pankrow Jones. They call him Pankrow Jones. Exit to ground. I'm, this is a, something I'm doing really quick, too, so I can't hang out too much. Is the guy back there? Or we have to steal the... You gonna rob the drunk guy? Is he here? Will he still sink into the ground, or did they fix is that? Is anyone there? I'm going to pull some money from your butt. Do, 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 you up. Fondle, fondle, fondle. And, oh, oh, look, right here in the rectum. There you go. That's, at least he didn't sink into the ground. Do the concrete like last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what can you see? We're down at 90 million. How the mighty have fallen. So, just to give myself a little more room down in the Urea Workshop B2. I'm on the clock. Got, what you want? Some that's wheels? what I know. Always to put it there. What should we have? Two Evrons. Wow, there's really not much we can do there. Because these are all supposed to kind of be together. All right. Down there, ASP. That's down there. Da, 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 da. <coughs> hmm. Well, I mean, I okay. guess really, I if I do. just, you know, fine. There's there's one one more car spot here. Let's let's at least put it in the front. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Or you know what? Maybe. Just maybe. All right. You know what? we're gonna we're gonna leave it all go. But well, we can still walk in again. But because I'm thinking, what would look really good next to the Eudoras might be. The uh, the click wagon. <coughs> Put that right here. If I eventually get it. Wait, how much is that thing now? One point two million, and it's really really slow. <coughs> I'm gonna take all my right now. Maybe, right? I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence on that one. 
We're not there yet. It's not today's car yet. I, yeah, I still only have, well, now six parking places in one spot in the agency so I could do a money tech upgrades and then repark the stuff. Well, that's where we're at. But we've at least finished. That should be all. I don't know. Do we have any Eudoras over on Rusty Jack? I don't know. I believe this is all the cars on my main character have been now upgraded from the great FOMO panic of 2023. And so, at least we've got this going for us and, you know, all of these are going for us. It's a lot of FOMO. Now on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, believe me, there are many more build videos to come because... There's a ton of these on my other character. I don't even remember what I bought. But at least for a little while. Maybe maybe I'll take some time and, and make some more money. Although I think I could probably get through this and only get down to like 80 million. But, you know. We'll see. We'll see what goes on. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.